What's going on? You know who it is. It is Bruce Jordan, the MJ of hotels. And today we're going to find out, are you getting fired? Things companies do to make you quit. It was prophesied that another Jordan will be born who will be greater than Michael Jordan. But he won't be the MJ of basketball. He will be the MJ of hotels. Prophecy fulfilled. This episode was brought to you by the Hotel Front Desk Log, the best front desk log book on Amazon. To get your copy, go to frontdesklog.com. You know, unfortunately, some people just don't work out. You know, it's, it's not your fault. It's not my fault. It's not their fault. They're just not a right fit for the culture of that particular location. Okay. It's nothing wrong with that. But at times, you know, a company, they usually just don't want to fire you. Uh, they want to give you every chance that they can to make sure that their decision that they're about to make uh, is the right one. So these are the three telltale signs that you may be getting fired. All right. First things first, you start getting written up for things that you usually don't get written up for. Like, so, you know, I've seen this with people being late. You know, they, they're five minutes late. There's two minutes late. They never get written up. And then it gets worse. The, the five minutes becomes 10 minutes. The 10 minutes becomes 15 minutes. Then the 15 minutes becomes 30 minutes. Now you're costing the company overtime because someone had to stay over for that half an hour to cover your shift. Okay. Are you costing the company money? Because now... They can't clean as many rooms or get as much done because you're missing for a whole half an hour. So what do the company start doing? They start writing you up. You're late once, you're late twice, and then they usually try to establish a pattern in the write-ups to let you go. Okay. Why? Why would they do this? It's for unemployment purposes. Most companies have to pay unemployment if they just fire you and if you have a valid claim saying hey you know what yeah i should have never been fired you know uh, it, it seems more to me like i was laid off then of course the company has to pay your unemployment no company wants to pay unemployment for that employee that did not deserve to be there in the first place so what they're going to do is they're going to prepare themselves to get ready to fight this claim which is why you're getting wrote up. Number two, change in management. Now, everybody thinks that when a new regime comes in, it's an automatic termination. That's not always the case. Um, when a new management com company come in, yeah, people are concerned because new management tend to bring in their own people, which means that you won't be there. But a lot of times when new management comes in, they want to see what goods you got first before they actually decide to let you go. So when new management comes in, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to review everything about you. They're going to review your file, see if you have any issues, see if you have any problems, any room for improvement, whatever the case may be. But eventually, if they feel that you're not going to be a good fit, they are probably going to let you go. They're probably going to fire you. So one of the things that they do uh, in their initial conversations, you'll notice that the questions they start asking is a little bit different from the questions that you're used to being asked. And if you can't answer those questions properly, a lot of times it usually means that you're not ready for their style of management and they want to let you go. So when you see a new management company com coming in, see what they're about try to understand what their company culture is about and if you feel like you cannot be a part of that culture it may be a good idea to start looking for another job now number three number three is important because you're not gonna you're gonna see it but you're not gonna understand it and number three is they're gonna start reducing your schedule all right so if you used to work five days a week Next thing you know, you're working four days a week, and then you're working three days a week. 
and now you're down to one or two days a week. What they're trying to do is either they just don't have the work or they're trying to reduce your schedule so low that you'll quit. Because if you quit, they don't got to play an appointment. So when you start to see your schedule start dwindling down into nothing, you know, you, you used to be scheduled for eight hours and now you're scheduled for five minutes and then go to the, and then you're sending you home. Just a joke. But you know something's wrong. So that is another sign that you're maybe getting fired on your day off. Okay. So take heed. And as always, make sure you go check out my new book, um, The Hotel Revenue Bible, coming to a store shelf near you. Almost ready for pre-order, ready for pre-sale. All uh, right. And this is the Michael Jordan Hotels, Bruce Jordan signing out. And you know what we're here to do. We're here to make your revenues rise up once again.